Okay, so starting with the crowning energy, um, this month is going to require a lot of emotional, mental, and also um, inner resilience for you to get through this month. And I'm not going to lie, it's going to be rough. I mean, the way the cards are laid out with the tower, the worst card in the deck, and um, you know with the, the five of um, pentacles too, it's in the reverse position, so so it's not that bad. And then with the three of swords, it's a it's a really difficult emotional state that you're going to be in. However, it is in the reverse position, so I feel that this is basically residual energy from the previous months that are culminating you know this month it, it's um the old pain the anguish and the the just the emotional turmoil is it's bubbling back up or is you know coming back this month and I, I feel like it's definitely something from the past this is not something that is happening this month for you in which there has is a betrayal but it's definitely coming back from the past okay so it's going to take a lot of courage a lot of patience a lot of um a lot of resilience for you to get through this month. Um, you have this at your disposal, so I wouldn't, you know, worry too much about it. Um, at the same time, the Queen of Swords is coming up. So this is a card of objectivity, okay? And um, this is very interesting here. I see a dichotomy between these two cards. The Strength card is a, it's a very Leo energy, and Leos are extremely loyal to friends, family, lovers. I mean, Aquarius are too, but um, it's interesting that this is coming out, you know, just like this, because Leos really care about the people around them. And uh, Leos are extremely devoted to a fault, almost. Um, even if someone betrays them, as long as they have that history and that emotional connection with that other person, they will always stick by the other person. Whereas um, this energy is telling you no, don't do that. The Queen of Swords is very discerning and um, once betrayed, she will never let somebody back in. So she is very discerning. She's very objective. She is not clouded by her feelings, by her emotion, and she does not let past history repeat uh, itself just because she's the type of person, you know, like uh, she has no problem with letting people go. All right, so um, this is a month in which you have to basically be aware of this energy and to be very discerning about the people that are coming into your life. And I feel like, you know, the people in this spread, they're all showing up in the upright position. So that's not something you're going to be, um, you're going to have to deal with. I don't see people from the past coming up. I, I don't see people from the past coming back up this month in February. But um, I do know that um, just a lot of the emotional, um, you know, a lot of the emotional pain is going to resurface. So you have to learn to deal with this constructively and in, in, in the process. You're going to have to look at a situation and basically assess your self-worth, okay, based on this, um, the, the way this woman um, it's falling out. So, you know, like I said, it's a general reading. This could be a man or a woman, but um, it's, a, it's the essence of the Aquarius energy. Okay, so let's break down the cards. Um, okay, so um, finances. Finances are going to be slow in coming, but you're going to be fine. So I want to put that out there first, okay? Um, finances. Whatever you put in is whatever you're going to get out. So if you're starting a new job or have started a new job this month or the beginning of the year in January, it's going to be slow in coming, but this is a very good year for Aquarius in general just because we do have the, um, the two new moon. And it's a time of, um, it's the ideal time to manifest things in our lives. I know that um, the moon, the two new moons are wedged in between, you know, um, or actually Mercury retrograde is wedged in between the two moons. So it's pretty difficult to know when to start project. I mean, the energy is coming in prominently to start project somewhere in between, but we have that troublesome Mercury in retrograde. So balances or you know the ability to start projects and to move forward is going to be 
heavily tested until the 20th of um, February. So if you can do that, implement new projects or you're going to see things um, picking up and your your life is going to be on the upswing. You know, after, like by the 4th, starting in the 4th week of February, things will be so much better. And that is why um, I, I just feel like a lot of past energy and past um, patterns and, you know, the pain, hurt, and frustration, betrayal, and all of that, it's coming back in really heavily, and it's greatly affecting your self-esteem. I mean, this is a situation that is also indicative of, like, uh, not having enough money, but underneath the Strength card, and then next to the Three of Swords, it is also uh, greatly about self-esteem. You know, whatever situation you've had to contend with the past year, um, you, you've gotten over it. Emotionally, you're over it. But um, you, you will never go back to that person, you know, like on, in all honesty. You think back and you feel anger rather than, you know, hurt, betrayal, and pain. You just feel really angry and you would never go back to that situation. But at the same time, that, that person that betrayed you has crushed your self-esteem. And at this point, this is the month for you to start rebuilding that, actually. And it's going to take a lot of strength and a lot of objectivity. You have to look at yourself honestly in this situation and know that it's the other person's loss, okay? Because you are prosperous, you're abundant, you are very... You know, you have everything going for you, and this person did not see that. Therefore, they whatever they did, it really crushed your self-esteem, and it had you doubting the fact that you have all this abundance to offer, and the other person just made a big mistake, all right? So I just want you to be aware of that. Um, this is going to creep in, and it's going, that self-doubt, that loathing, and, you know, that insecurity is going to creep in uh, back in like the the first half of the month even so this is um, I would say give or take you know the first 10 days of the month and then you will start rebuilding yourself okay and then there's a, that other self-doubt coming in the end of the month but um, we will deal with this energy later but I just want you to be aware that the other person made a mistake you have everything at your disposal you're beautiful you're desirable so don't let that self-doubt crush you know like over overwhelm the reality of the situation which is that it's their loss you know you've moved on it's their loss you would never go back to it and you came out on top all right so stick with that because that in general is the reality that you're finally able to start to see this month and that's really wonderful okay so with the high priestess here um it is underneath the the pentacle card, so I feel like in the work situation, um, you're you're kind of at a, a loss. Like, um, so you know already money's not coming in enough, money is not coming in fast enough. Excuse me, and you're trying to find ways to move forward um, to get this money flowing again. So this is uh, indicative of the high priestess next to a um, a pentacles card. So you're trying to find ways to do to do that, and um, I feel that towards the end of the month, you're going to be able to relate to others, and you're going to be able to formulate a new plan that would allow you to do that. Um, like I said, be really careful with the Mercury in retrograde. It might be troublesome to start anything, to, to change things up until the very last week of uh, February when Mercury retrograde is completely out of its um, shadow period. So please don't do anything new until the last week when you've thought things through, okay? And I'm giving that warning just because we have this tower coming in and it, it's a very rough energy. But um, I just want you to be aware that um, this is also coming up underneath the Three of Swords. So it is possibly, it's some troubling news, but it's not going to be related to you. It's going to be related to somebody from your past, okay? Just because of the placement of the cards. So you're going to be fine. You're going to go ahead with your new projects by the end of the month. And you're going to be able to find new ways of relating and also... Um, Relating to other people and to to be creative about how you make money. So this this money situation, honestly, don't worry about it. 
Money is not even a huge concern here, okay? So don't worry about it. Things will come in their time. In the meantime, uh, refine the way you communicate with others. And um, you don't want to be a page. You want to be the queen. You want to be the queen of swords. You don't want to be the page of swords. So it's a matter of getting yourself from here to this point in which you seek truth and honesty and in which you are very direct and frank about what you say. So it's important to get yourself to this point where you communicate clearly, effectively, and um, and tactfully too. I feel that with a lot of um, Aquarius too, tact is not in their for uh, it is not their forte. So you know, be very get your point across. Be firm, but um, understanding. Okay, so that with the strength card too, it, it is an energy of you know being firm, drawing your boundaries, but um, at the same time being very understanding. All right, so um, so let's talk about this tower situation here. So if we look at it like this, this is definitely something that doesn't relate to you. Okay, so this is not a sun. Uh, the tower is indicative of a situation where bad news just pummel you. You you don't know how to recover from this, or a situation where you know something that you've taken for granted. A relationship, a friendship, a person in your life, or a job situation, something that you've taken for granted is suddenly, you know, taken away from you. Kind of like those situations. So um, I want you to be aware of this. But I feel that um, the way the, the energy is playing out, this is not news that is coming that is related to you. So like, it's, it's nothing related to you. It's related to somebody from your past. It's related to that past situation. And um, the news is in regards to that other person. Just the way that the energy is laid out. You know, I, I'm, I feel for many, many, many of you, this news will be very, um, you know, shocking. But it doesn't affect your life in any concrete way it's related to that other person so you're just like oh that sucks but um, I'm glad it wasn't me kind of like that um, except you know you you sympathize with them and this is corroborated by the Knight of Cups so you're going to feel you're going to feel sympathy and empathy because you just you know bad news you don't want to wish that on anybody even if someone from your past who have done you wrong you don't wish that on anybody, but you do sympathize with them because you are a very kind, loving sign. So um, I, I do see that definitely coming in. And then, you know, if that is the case and you really sympathize with them, offer your sympathy. But at the same time, just know that um, whatever the situation is, be very on guard and be very discerning too, okay? So offer your sympathy, but don't get sucked in into this situation and um, don't let others take advantage of you don't let others um, persuade you to get sucked it back in and you know just just end this month without starting anything without going back to old situations okay so it is very important for you to be able to separate your feelings and your objectivity okay so use those energies and just um, get through this month. I feel that it, it's this is definitely not related to you. It's going to be related to something from your past, and it's going to to um, tug at your heartstrings. So be be prepared to offer condolences, to offer sympathy where it's deserved, but um, don't use your discernment and do not get sucked back in.